It is said that Indonesians consider Mount Bromo to be the most sacred. I came face to face with a huge crater after pushing through harsh sandstorms, and what I saw truly seemed to be the home of the gods. Sumeru is called the center of the world. I'm departing from the volcanoes of Java, where I experienced the rough breath of the earth. Today, I'm heading towards the ocean. It is a place where I can enjoy the bounty of the rough waves, as well as the mystical world deep underwater. I'm off to that blue paradise. Indonesia is situated between the Indian and Pacific Oceans and has the largest number of islands in the world. The ocean here is home to a particularly rich and diverse number of fish species, so much so that it is called a repository of sea life. Today, my journey begins at Timang, a small beach in Gunung Kidul, situated at the southern end of Java. Gunung Kidul harbors a small fishing village and beautiful coasts. At Gunung Kidul, you can find a beautiful beach called Timang. This place, which boasts white sandy beaches, is a popular vacation spot among locals. It is truly picture perfect with a dazzling blue sea and waves that crash white above the blue. The waves are said to reach a maximum of 10 meters tall. The sound of the waves is really amazing. The sea seems to be rolling into my arms. In this place, where the sound of crashing waves and scent of the sea automatically heals the soul, is a secret island unknown to foreigners. It is a rock island called Panjang. For locals, Panjang is an excellent fishing spot, and it is paradise for a rock shrimp called Udung Batu. This is practically the only method of transportation to reach the island. Apparently, this cable car was built to reach the rock island because of the waves here. This spot is notorious for its harsh seas due to the strong ocean currents of the Indian Ocean. At times, the waves reach over 10 meters tall. Wow, the waves are really enormous. That's why it's practically impossible to reach the rock island without the cable car. Nonetheless, traveling by cable car isn't an easy feat either. 
It works manually, so you have to pull the cable with your hands. On top of that, with the rough waves crashing below, it's hard to get across unless you're equipped with guts and strength. Half full of anticipation and half afraid, I entrust myself to the wooden cable car. As the cable car starts to move, a scream escapes from my lips unwittingly. I look below, and it's dizzying. Suddenly the waves look like they've gotten fiercer. You can reach the island after riding this cable car for a little over 100 meters. Just riding this will make you break out in a sweat. But it's even harder because you have to pull the cable yourself if you want to ride. It is so thrilling. There is another reason why these people risk the danger of coming here every day. These people catch udung batu, or rock shrimp here, which is officially called pronghorn spiny lobster. They cast and draw the nets twice a day in the morning and afternoon. They typically use clams for bait. Rock shrimp inhabit shallow seas that are constructed of rocks and stone. Therefore, this is an excellent fishing spot. Nah, ini, ini perangkapnya harus pakai umpan ini, mas. Kalau nggak pakai umpan, laut tenang nggak bisa masuk ke sini karena ini ada aromanya, baunya. Jadi, laut harus cari makanan. Harus di sini. Harus di sini. He goes down to set the trap, but a sudden incoming wave makes even a veteran fisherman flee. Whoa. This time, success. After installing the net, he secures it with rope to a nearby rock so it doesn't get swept away. Nice toss for a beginner, isn't it? Now we're going to draw up the net that was cast this morning. Did they get a big catch? Wow, do you see it? A rock shrimp is caught in the trap. These are called udung batu here and rock shrimp in Korea. 
but they are officially called pronghorn spiny lobsters. They are easily mistaken for lobsters, but instead of pincers, they have characteristically long feelers. With each trap that we draw in, there are at least two to three udung batu. It really proves that it's an ideal fishing spot. Rock shrimp are a delicacy here too. That's why they're sold at pretty high prices. Normally they are sold at 270,000 rupiah per kilogram, which is about 25 US dollars. kadang-kadang dapat 10 ekor, 15 ekor, 5 ekor, Mas. Jadi nggak bisa dipastikan. Tapi dipastikan harus dapat. Tapi nilainya sekian-sekian. Nah ini, Mas. Ini untuk penahan hidup pakai serbuk kayu. Mm -mm, pakai serbuk kayu. I'm told that sprinkling wet sawdust on them is necessary to keep them alive for a prolonged bit of time because it retains moisture. They say today's catch is better than usual, and that makes me feel good too. Tian, a local fisherman, invites me to his home. Tian leaves home at dawn every morning and returns at this hour. He says it's hard work, but he is happy because he does it for his family. At home, the household is busy with dinner preparations. They're cooking rock shrimp, especially for me. After boiling the shrimp, she adds seasoning and boils it down. I wonder how it will taste. Tian has been catching shrimp on the island for 17 years. Wow, <laughs> Wow, this is the precious rock shrimp dish. Wow, this is the precious rock shrimp dish. The plump meat looks delicious, doesn't it? Good things should be shared with others. They have food to share, a family to share it with, and laughter continues incessantly. Isn't this what true happiness is?
Having tasted the delicacy bestowed by the seas of Timang Beach, I'm now heading for Lavina and Manjangan in search of an emerald ocean paradise. Lovina is a small fishing village in the northern region of Bali. In order to get there, you have to board a boat on Java's east coast and cross the Bali Sea. It only takes a little over 30 minutes. Finally, I arrive at Lovina. Once in the village, the first thing that sparks my attention is this dolphin statue. This small village, which used to be a fishing town, is now a popular dolphin watching destination. The quiet beach puts even my mind at ease. I follow the sound of laughter and discover some children riding a tree swing and playing. The best way to befriend children is to play with them. The way the early bird gets the worm, so too will a busy traveler enjoy more experiences. The reason I forsook my sweet early morning sleep and came out to the shore is for a special experience found only here. Hello. Well, I can swim. <laughs> no, 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 no problem. No, 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 no. Once I put my life vest on, the boat heads out to sea. Local fishermen lead most dolphin tours in Lovina. I hear that there is a 90% chance of seeing dolphins. As the sun rises above the ocean, boats carrying tourists gather one after another. They say that the dolphins gather for food around sunrise, but I can't spot any yet. Just like a hyena in search of food, the boats roam the sea in search of schools of dolphins. This is yet another must-see site, only in Lovina. 
ya bisa satu hari itu bisa ya pagi itu ya bisa sampai 200 orang gitu oh, ya. 200. Iya. Kadang-kadang kalau botnya bisa sampai 50 bot oh. itu 60 enggak tentulah kadang-kadang. All of a sudden, dolphins start jumping up from the once calm waters. As the dolphin herds begin to appear here and there, the numerous boats start moving about in disarray. The dolphins swim fluidly through the middle of the sea that glitters from the morning sunlight. It is a truly spectacular group dance. At this vivid and moving instant, losing my morning sleep seems well worth it. I guess a person's greed has no end. Returning from the short encounter with the dolphins, I feel a lingering sense of yearning for them. Thus, I'm heading for the spectacular underwater views of Menjangan Island. Menjangan is an uninhabited island in West Bali National Park. There are many diving points around the island where you can enjoy scuba diving or snorkeling. Where is Mingjong? There? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Go there. Thank you. At the dock, boats are lined up to go to Menjangan. Oh, hi. We'll go to Menjangan yes. Island. Yeah. Can we sit? Yeah. Go there? Yeah, there we Oh. This is Menjangan, where the scuba divers from all over the world gather. Already, my heart is racing. You go with Mahmoud, yeah? Hi. Hi. So, Hi. later he will uh, explain you. Oh. And he's on. Hi. I'm from Korea. Yeah, I'm from Denmark. Ah, Denmark. Yeah. So when I retire from my job in Denmark, I go here and stay much more time because in the beginning it was only one time every year in my holiday. Menjangan is a nature reserve and retains some of its pure primitive state. As if to prove this, I spot a deer playing freely on the island. Menjangan was actually named for being home to many deer. There are also many diving points around the island, which is less than two kilometers long. The time you can remain on the island is restricted to four hours so you have to determine where you want to go with your guide beforehand.
오늘은 저도 이 관광객들하고 같이 그냥 마음껏 즐겨야겠어요. 물고기들이랑 같이 수영도 하고 네, 준비됐습니다. spot. Various large and small coral flaunt their beauty in Manjangan's fantastic underwater world. This is a stunning underwater world. I don't think there is any other place where you can enjoy the life forms in this world as well as here. A little deeper in, you can encounter rare underwater creatures. From a giant clam that opens and closes its mouth to lionfish with elaborate fins. It really feels like I'm in a huge aquarium. I imagine that while roaming through the sea like this, perhaps I might even meet a mermaid. Until now, it seems the world I have known is only half of it. known that such a beautiful world existed under the sea. It is only now that I have found the other half of the world. This one is your oh. lunch for me. Yeah, thank you. Okay, enjoy your lunch. <laughs> yeah. Lunch. Okay. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Bali is pork and beef, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, she didn't like it at the end. Can I join? Yes, of course. Oh, thank you. Where are you from? Holland. Ireland. Holland. 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 How about Bali? I really like it a lot. I've been traveling a lot in my life, but this is uh, a nice hot spot. Definitely can tell you that. You saw a big fish? Yeah, we saw some big fish. And a lot of colors as well. Oh. A lot of color fish. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful. You can't leave this out when taking a picture. Do you know kimchi? Kimchi? Yeah, Korean food, kimchi. Kimchi. One, two, three, smile, kimchi. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, kimchi! Yeah, so nice! I've seen this before, but I've never seen it before. It's really good. It's really good. It's really good. 
풍경, 사람들 진짜 최고네요. Perhaps this is why everyone calls this an ocean paradise. I choose snorkeling as another way to enjoy the ocean. Let's go! Perhaps because you can enjoy the ocean closer to the surface, it's a bit more easygoing. There is a different charm than that of the deep sea. The tropical fish that I encounter in the dazzling sunlit water, it's as if they're dancing. I encounter a sunset on the beautiful sea, and the energy from that sun seems to seep into my body. 사실 저에게 있어서 여행이란 제가 좋아하는 일이기도 하지만 저에게 있어서는 일이잖아요. 그러다 보니까 어, 최근에는 조금 어, 이그 일에 지치기도 하고 어, 조금 스트레스를 받았던 것도 사실인데 다시 이번 인도네시아 여행을 하면서 어, 그런 어떤 젊은 회기를 다시 한번 얻, 얻었다고 할까요? Menjangan is paradise on the sea with a rich ocean world. You can enjoy the mystery of the earth and heal your weary soul in this other world. Cheers.